Hello and welcome to Rugby School, where we continue to celebrate 200 years of the game of rugby football. Another very special game coming up for you this afternoon. It's Rugby School against Halebury. And we will go through the team sheets for you. Just now as the two teams you can see on the field ready to go. Rugby School once again led by Hooker Robert Gaffan, either side of him, Hugh Salveson and James Canvin. And in the second row, Sam Bird and Leah Robinson, Adam Virani, Jack Brown and Jack, Jake Roberts rather make up the back row. Halfbacks, Oscar Tebbett and Alfie Cockburn. In the centres, Jordan Strydon and Nathaniel Kayada. And in the back three, Harry Tannett, Dahiru Wada and Jack Drew. Halebury, meanwhile, line up with Tom Watkins, still in line, and Tereni Morakinho in the front row, Sam Donner and Ollie Hurd in the second row, Lucas Osman, Marco Filippetto and Eddie Orcott in the back row as Finn Newton gets us kicked off. He is playing a fly half alongside Dan McKenna with Hamish Archibald and Fraser Rawlings in the centres. Zach Crane, Tahami McCauley and Nick Davis make up the back three. The rugby school secure possession from the start. <laughs> We come back for a rugby school penalty in the centre of the field. 20 red. Had a little think about the quick one, but it looks as though Alfie Coburn's going to go for touch with that reliable left peg of his. He's been part of the Saracen setup and indeed the Scottish exiles in his time. First man. There. And gets the ball up beyond halfway. Gaffan finds Bird. That combination, a key one for rugby school. Gaffan, the Northampton Saint, and Bird, the Leicester Tiger. Vantage. Red. First scrum of the game. It's been eight years since these two sides last met. 2015. Rugby school winning 44-17 in that one. Well, through the early 2000s, it was a regular fixture on the calendar. Heads in, please, eight. Crawl! last victory in this fixture. Coming all the way back in 2008, 15 years ago. Can they change that here today? Well, they've got a penalty from the scrum and they go quickly from it. A chance to have their first real attack at the rugby school defence. Newton just stabs one through. Tidied up in the backfield by Jack Drew. Four, four, four. Oh, Tebbit sends the up and under through. It's well gathered. In the backfield. It was Rawlins. That was hanging what? back there. Another one of the Saracens Release contingent them. in this Halebury lineup as Newton fizzed the ball through his hands. We saw him performing so well in the wide channels, bringing the under 18, being utilised at outside Taylor. half here for Halebury. Who are into the 22 now. Good handling. Looking for the offload off the deck, did really well to hang on. Now there could be some space out left. They have a little go around the outside. Is the try there? The try is certainly there. Try. Halebury opened the scoring. The game just three and a half minutes old and Halebury have first blood. It was really well held on to by Lucas Osmond. And then Fraser Rawlins <laughs> working his way around the outside. Just off the line, please, Dan. Moody, hurry up. 
good fast ball and then just shrugs off one tackler and realizes he has the space on the outside and Hayley Breit take the early lead. That way. Thank you. Finn Newton. As I mentioned, the England under 18 and Saracens will be the man to line up the conversion here. Just pushes that one to the right hand side. But it's a fine start from Halebury. Yeah, one attack, ahead. one try. And they lead five points to nil. Tight head, yeah, my side. Don't drop your shoulder and don't go in towards the hooker. Healthy crowd building on the touchline in front of my commentary position here. Timing white. Inspire this rugby school side. Coburn kicks up to the 22. Looking to play from deep. Flat. Newton feet short to Osman. No three, no. As he did in the build up to the try. Perhaps a combination to look out for as Not the game help. develops. Now they opt to kick. In fact, Newton, though, has to Seven. dance around because the Thank chase you. coming through from rugby was so good. He chips ahead. Now he gets another toe on it, turning a difficult little moment into a high pressure opportunity. Rugby did just enough to tidy up. And now they work it through the hands. There's space here on the left hand side for them. Jordan Strider, the South African. With the good work, but it's turnover and it's Osman. But his pass doesn't go to hand, and a little helter skelter period of play will end in a line out to rugby school. Red. There. That's five. On the line, George. Stay there. Hold now. Coburn feet short to Verani. Gaffney takes that. that one. Now they go out the back, and there's wide passing coming in, and a bit of space for Wada back, back. to work into. Thank you. Line is yours, White. Line is yours, White. It's going to be a Haley line, line is yours. On the halfway line. <laughs> line is yours. And to those of you just tuning in on the live stream, apologies for any no relief, technical sir. errors earlier. YouTube getting a bit excited with itself. Halebury took an early lead, three minutes in. To a Fraser Rawlins try. That came after three minutes. The last five Take minutes has been play going this way and that. Knock on my so thank you very much for your patience Wrong and sticking red. with us as we enjoy the rest of this game here on the magnificent old big side field here on the close at rugby school drive straight please same again line is yours as you may have missed this is the first meeting between Crowd. these sides for a whopping eight Old years. Bind. Rugby school winning that fixture 44-17, but they're 5-0 down currently. It's 
Taylor Bree pressing for a first victory in this fixture since 2008. Penalty rugby, they go fast. Content play. Rip advantage. The ball ha Capable hadn't yet ball. gone 10, so it's going to be. Well, in fact, I thought it was going to be a penalty. It looks as though they just crept 10, so it'll be a scrum down. Lovely happy. school ball. You see that Jake Roberts, the Midland, Midland Central number eight, was the man to go quick. Powerful runner. Crawl! Rugby will want to get the ball in his hands Bye. as often as they can. Backwards. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. No. Pulls out. Penalty rugby. And a chance for them to stick the ball in the corner. Possibly and try and set something up. And having gone behind, they've worked ever so hard. And started to just find a bit of an edge here. Both of these two sides lost in their opening games. Haylebury going down in a really tight one against Felstead, 22 points to 18 at home. Rugby school, as many of you will have seen on our live stream back on Saturday. Timing on the left of red. Going down in a bit of a classic, 24-42 to rugby to Oakham rather. And that line out just goes awry. Score advantage nine. But it's tidied up. Still a chance to launch something, but the ball squirts loose. No advantage. And we're going to come back. Play knock on first. For a rugby scrum. As I say, though, both sides looking to inject a bit of momentum into the season after those opening day defeats. Grab a conversation on this side. Keep your shoulder out, keep your shoulder out. Don't dive in. You know bit of a change in the front row for rugby school from that game against Oakham. Q Salverson. Moves from tight head to loose head. James Canvin Crawl! moves up from the second row to play a tight head. Bind! With Leo Robinson. Set! Coming into the second row, having been on the bench for that game. Solid scrum. Ball goes loose again, and Halebury hack through. Could be some space. Thumped forward. It's a foot race after this one. It looks like one that rugby school are winning, but could Halebury just get a toe on it? Advantage. Ball just goes forward from them, so rugby school playing with advantage. Haleybury, oh, so nearly with a chance there to double their lead. Rugby worked so, so hard to get back. Jordan Strider doing fantastically well to cover back. Ball just squirted loose, and it was absolutely hacked through by Zach Crane. Nine. Inside. Foot race was on, so difficult to gather that bouncing ball. And it just squirted forward there off Crane and stride him. And gave up the game for a year. The age of 13, Crawl! 14. Bye. Putting in the effort to get all the way back there. Set. Scrappy ball again, but rugby get it under control. It. Just as I say that, the ball goes down. We'll have another scrum. Halebury and a real opening here. Oh, 
perhaps recognising that their side are just under a bit of pressure here. The rugby school crowd on this near side bursts into full voice. Just have a bit of a break. Well, Canvin gets himself patched up. Speaks fluent Chinese, James Canvin. A man of many talents. And while players take on some water, a chance to remind you of some upcoming live streams. We're, of course, here live for every single rugby school game this year as we celebrate 200, game, 200 years rather, of the game of rugby football. And coming up next here, they play Bedford on Saturday, 3.30 p.m. kickoff for that. And actually, both of these sides featuring in back-to-back -back live streams here on Next Gen 15 because on Wednesday next week, we're off to the Stonex Stadium, 7.15 p.m. kickoff as Haleybury hosts Stamford. Those two of a whopping seven live streams in 10 days here on Next Gen 15. Coming up this Friday, a double header at Bury St. Edmunds RFC as Ipswich and Northampton School for Boys go head to head. We'll have the second 15 at 6.30 and the first 15 at 8 o'clock. And on Saturday at the same time as that rugby school versus Bedford game, it's the Seb Adeneran Alule Memorial game at Wellington College. We'll be live for that one as they host Whitgift. Both sets of players back up and running Set. and we have a Haleybury scrum just inside the 22 on the far side of the pitch <laughs> it's a penalty one. to rugby number one elbow straight to floor number one elbow straight to floor Tom Watkin a judge to have gone to deck by the referee stride him Dumps this one towards touch. What a clearance that is. A good five or six metres inside the Haleybury half from that penalty. What a clearing kick. Yep. Push from my arm. Take some steps, please. Thank you, Finn. On Finn, please, nine. Gaffan by Middle and Roberts. Use it! <laughs> no advantage there because you have dropped into contact. We're coming back over here. Offside. Haleybury offside there, so we'll have another penalty. Keep your head up. Don't drop into contact. Seven there. red. Just reminding rugby school to try and avoid dropping into contact of course all part of the new tackle height laws for this season players must tackle below the sternum but players cannot go dipping into contact Gaffan once again to Roberts, who does really well to hang on to that, playing with advantage as well because he was taken in the air. Rugby school surging forward. Ball is called. Haleybury get underneath the ball, but it's dealt with well by rugby school. Now they go through Roberts again. Just gets a bit loose for a second. Oh, that's lovely control on the foot from Kayada. All comes to naught in the end, but we'll come back for the penalty. Stop it, tackle there. 19 on the arm. Haleybury just pulling Roberts down as he collected that ball from the line out. There. For the ball, contest for the ball. This time it's Bird taking it and Roberts around the outside and then Gaffan charging towards the line. Robert Gaffan, the skipper, levels things up for rugby school. It was a well-worked move. Well 
that trio of top forwards in the rugby school lineout working together. Gaffan to Bird and then Bird to Roberts on the wrap, who gave it to Gaffan and he had all the power to just surge over the line. He still had plenty to do, Gaffan. Three would be tacklers. But the skipper was not to be denied. Game on. Coburn's conversion is good as well. And rugby school take the lead, seven points to five. Robert Gaffan there, the try scorer. Alfie Coburn with the conversion. 20 minutes in. The home side are in front. Timing. But galloping forward, forgot to bring the ball with him. But just a glimpse there of the pace that Bird has when he gets going. Okay. Moving there like a young Doddy Weir. National level sailor as well. There's Sam Bird, man of many talents. Heads in, please, eight. Crow! Here, eight. Here, here, eight. Out quick. Bye! Hold! Hold! Same mark. Just having a couple of problems getting this scrum started. Certainly nothing to do with the conditions underfoot. It's a gloriously sunny day here on the majestic old big side field. It is in superb condition as it has been ever since it was relayed ahead of this bicentenary year here at rugby school. Been absolutely magnificent. Haylebury get the ball away from the scrums. Bit of an intricate move, but the ball goes loose and rugby pounce upon it. Oh, that's a lovely offload. And surging away now is Nathaniel Kayada. Kayada going for the line. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. And out of nowhere, Nathaniel Kayada has a try for rugby school. Two tries in as many minutes. Halebury had a move off the scrum. Didn't quite work out. It was pounced upon by rugby school. And the pass comes in and no one, absolutely no one is stopping Nathaniel Kayade once he gets going. The club secretary here at rugby school. And finishing supremely. Magnificent conversion from Alfie Coburn. Well, all of a sudden, inside of just a couple of minutes, the home side have gone from 5 0 down to 14 5 up. 
I need a break. Just want to claw a little bit of momentum back here. And a big tackle on Bird might be a good start to that. Gaffern out the back, Coburn once again. Finding one of his forwards. That's a penalty. Gaffan goes quickly. He's got support from Striden. What a game he's had so far, the inside centre. And look to this short side. Coburn has to take this one on himself. It's just wrapped up a little bit by Haleybury. It's a good clear out from his forwards. Penalised there, though, coming in from the side. In fact, they're taking a clear player too far away from the ruck. Hainabry opt to run this penalty. The volume pitch side here has gone through the roof. Newton. Oh, it's magical from Newton. Finn Newton marching on up to the 22. Oh, that is the magic that is in the feet of Finn Newton. Haleybury, move it wide. Could there be some space out there? Ball is given. Almost up to the try line. What a tackle that is. Alfie Coburn takes a yellow card. Killing the ball when Newton went to ground. You suspect he may not mind too much. Under so much pressure there as Newton surged through. Yes, no, take a step from me. Thank you very much. This goes over, we'll have a chat, okay? Thank you. Ten. Newton stands over the conversion, or the penalty, in fact. But Alfie Coburn probably won't mind too much. Three points and a yellow card. Better than the seven that was surely coming without that play. His coaches won't mind too much either. Important score, that, for Haleybury. Momentum was really with rugby school, but Finn Newton stepping up when his side needed him. Beautiful break. And then rugby really with no choice but to try and spoil that ball. Newton bangs over the resultant penalty. Captain. That's the gap produced. Captain. To 14 8. Knock on into the touch. It's got more line out. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Take a step for me, please. Yeah, on your 12. Gaffan bursting into the 22. No Varani. Release. Strydon looks as though he stepped in in 10 just for the moment. On the field, by the way, Will Hosking has come on. Wearing 16 there with a the heavily strapped knee. It's as though Haleybury have just poached this. Back Newton just dinks it over the top. There's a bit of space there. Ball just beats the on-rushing Haleybury attackers into touch. Yeah. 
sons come bursting out here at rugby school as they hold on to the line out Virani oh Virani bursting through Virani surging through just slows up for a second and then realizes the chase is on Adam Virani well it just all parted in front of him and Adam Virani there's rugby school's third try it looked simple enough, it was a looping pass. He just stepped inside the first tackler and suddenly he was bursting into space. Ball was popped off the top. And just look at that, step off the right foot. And just bags more pace than anyone was expecting. Three tries for rugby school, stride him blast that conversion between the uprights and despite being a man down rugby school another side that take advantage 21 points to eight they lead and in Virani there the try scorer It's a lovely kickoff. Chase is good as well. Stride him. Kiada linking up. A little bit of space out on the far side. Bird takes him into contact. Rugby school with their tails up. Leo Robinson working forward. Strydem feet short to Hosky. Come on, Haley! Back, step, step. Kayada short again to Robinson. A little dart through from Tebbett. Was on the bench against Oakham, gets the starting shirt here against Halebury. Strydem fizzes that one wide. Oh, it's a beautiful turnover from Halebury, working to get the ball under control. Now they find a little bit of space here on the left hand side. Comes off a rugby school arm and they'll have the line out. But rugby are managing this period ever so well. Halebury. Just have to survive this, you think, through to half time. Can't hear you, Ben. No, first man, he lifted it. Play. Yeah. 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 Double blood there, please. Just for a moment while uh, blood, blood. Eddie Elliott, the Haley Bree number eight, part of the Saracens. Two minutes left. Under 18 set up, just yes. has a bit of blood mopped up. Halves. Yeah, halves. Robert, two minutes left on the half. You making a change? Three minutes. No, 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 absolutely. Don't know if you're making a change or not. Is he still on? Okay. Wait a second for me. Wait a second for me, because that's not clearly not a meter. You're off your mark. Come across one for me, please. And then you set your gap, okay? Where you are. Wait a second. I'm ready to go. It's all right. There. Okay. We're on big side. Oh still in line. Wearing four, but playing hooker. To throw the ball in for Haleybury. 
bit of confusion though. Line out time. Rugby have the free kick. No, 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 no. At the 15. No, no. He hasn't taken it correctly. I've got to go to the mark. Tebbit just a bit too keen there to get going. Yeah, I've got line up. Scrum. Scrum called. So the referee just slowing that one up. Rugby opt for the scrum. Hooker. Just over a minute left. Will Hosking then is on at tight head. You're back down, though, you can still stay with eight. Looks as though Gaffan remains a hooker. He was just standing in the loose head position for a second. But slides across to his usual hooker position. Pietro Cecinato has come on at number eight as well for rugby school. Crouch! Bind! Set! Cunyado plays it short. Advantage. Threatening this Hayley defence now. Starting to find the keys. Play penalty advantage nine. Cicinato. Big tackle comes in on him. Stride him to Viriani. We've seen what a threat he can be with that try. Still got advantage. Stride him. Puts yeah. the chip in and Bird. He's in front. Collected it, but it was in front of the kicker. Back over We're here. Come back anyway. Winger offside. And then the Brie head straight offside, so rugby school will have the penalty over on that far side. Eleven. Yeah, he's just in front of you. Almost. Where are we? Here, thank you. Oh. Red, there. Ten, take a step. Thank you very much. Hayley poached the line out. And Osman takes it into no, contact no. well. He's carried very nicely in this first Take a half. Drive. As Lucas Osman, the Hayley Bree blindside, and does so again here. And really getting through a shift of work for his side. I can't reward you. Nine has to roll. You are completely just legal. They'd got a Nine turn over there, but Tebbit hadn't quite rolled away. So Haley Bree with the penalty. And they will look through the boot of Newton to find some territory with it. It's a huge kick from Newton. It's so nearly kept in Ten by Strider. He gave it every effort. But Newton takes his team into the 22 as Coburn comes on. We see the replay here. Gaffan was fine, he was legal, but Tebbit hadn't quite rolled away in time and that meant that the Haleybury clear out couldn't quite arrive. So you live. Fine yeah, margins you here the receiver. at the top of the school game. Two, two, two. Yeah, I've set their mark, you set yours. Secure the lineup. Rugby has made life really difficult. Down by Red. Them all. No 22. Newton just stabs one through. Leave it, leave it. Chasers possibly weren't aware of what was coming. <laughs> and as the ball runs dead, we head into half time. Halebury took an early lead, but rugby school have come surging back through. 
And they lead here on old big side, 21 points to eight at the halftime break. And this is where it all started. The game was just three minutes old. It really was a bit of a solo effort from Fraser Rawlins, Saracen's man. It was that man, Lucas Osman, that set it up with that big carry. He's carried so well in the first half. And Rawlins. With about three dummies there and eventually getting himself across the line. The triple pump. We talk about the double pump all the time, but the triple pump coming in there. Rugby. Got back on the score sheet, though. And who else but the skipper, Robert Gaffan. With a cleverly worked move off the line out. Given from Bird to Roberts. And Roberts just with that short pop to Gaffan, who took about three or four players across the line with him. Alfie Coburn converted. Gave rugby a narrow advantage. It was an advantage. They were to push even further through this effort. Spectacular from Nathaniel Kayada. From in a highly pressurized situation on their own 22. They scorched away, seizing on the loose ball. As Wada offloaded. Kayada and no one was going to catch him again it was a terrific Coburn conversion to put his team 14-5 in front Coburn would then get a yellow card and from the penalty for that Ainabry knocked over three points through Finn Newton was time for just one more rugby school score and it came almost out of nowhere when Adam Viriani surged through the defence from off the top ball at the line out and it all sends us through into the break rugby school leading here on the close 21 points to eight as we see the Viriani try long-range effort. I don't think you could quite believe it. He slowed up, I think, thinking he was surely going to get chased down and then realised, no, I'm away. I'm going to score. Strydon converted that one. Who's been magnificent, actually. Jordan Strydon. He's come across from South Africa. He's been fantastic in the first half. 21 points to eight then, rugby school lead and both teams looking ready to start the second half. Director of rugby, Mike Bailey, just having a final chat with Sam Bird. Murphy Coburn, just about ready to get things started. Judging by the way. Ben! That rugby school are lining up. Thank you. Just have a look here. Time on. You can just see Strydon right, and Coburn having a little nod at each other. I think Strydon's after this one. He is indeed. He puts the hit in. And what a big hit it is, but it's just a bit too high. Georgia. Trying to make a statement with rugby school straight from the kickoff, but Halebury will have a chance to counter and go from deep, and go they do. Deep into the rugby school half. And a big carry around the fringe as well. Can they find some space now? Newton 
takes the ball to the line, looked to just gas through, but the opposition were wise to it. Hansage, 13 white. That'll be just straight offside, so Haydenbury playing with penalty advantage. Yes, you have. Almost on the 22, Haylebri, but no, I'll come back for the penalty as Rugby School just managed to poach that one on the floor. There. Elliot takes that one into contact. And now Osman around the fringe. Back 17, 17, advantage. Marquinho now. Inching closer to the line of Haylebury. Newton thought about going cross field, then decided to go short. That one's been knocked forward by Rugby School in defence. No advantage. So I'm off, captain, please. The referee wants an early chat with Gaffan here. I've had three quick ones. In fact, I tackle, Gaffan has offside, gone off and, offside and on here. has come Rufus Pierce, the vice the captain. Now. Yes. He's going to have a little chat with his team. Early pressure on the hosts here They're in the second half. Then you can restart. Yes, it will be. Rufus, you're happy. Thank you. Number four. 17. Big collision Release. in the midfield there. Elliot stride him going head to head. Rug rugby Held under their own line. post, but holding up Halebury. Held up. Goal line Held dropout. But Halebury I've seen it Held going up. close in the early stages. They may not even have got Held up to the, the line. Yes. But as they were in the first half. All behind. All behind. They're putting the pressure on in the early stages of the second. The crucial Captain. factor for them here Option. is going to be can they keep the pressure on? Scrum on the five. Flying start Scrum in the, the first half, but ebbed away as rugby school came back. What can they do in the second? Apologise when I've got there, I've seen it held up. Big, big opportunity this. Scrum on the five. Halebury with options left and right. Stay on the line. Elliot at number eight, surely eyeing up. Back row, stay bound. A break to this right hand side Whoa! if they start to get a wheel on. Dan McKenna at scrum half with the ball in his hands. Set! Hot it's a white. big scrum from rugby, but they have to hold. Elliot does go to the right hand side, has to work to get it away. It's fast hands. And now Rawlins, the try scorer, dances this way and that. No 12, no, rugby no 12. have defended it well initially. Back, step. Osman has Short a go. Release. As well he might. Short release, one. Around the fringe, they keep going. Advantage. Ball is spilled though. Rugby behind their own try line, but looking to burst away. There could be a bit of space. Not forward though. No. Elliot gets First it down, but will come right back for the, line. for the scrum. Fantastic defence from the hosts to hold out under unrelenting pressure so from Halebury. On the line. It was on. Osman who died for the line. There. And I can't quite see who it was. It might be Rufus Pierce that just got under the dive, knocking the ball loose and earning rugby school the scrum and a reprieve from some serious pressure. Ouch! Bind! It was indeed Rufus Pierce that got under it. Set! The vice captain who starts on the bench but comes on to make such an impact for his team. 
Ball. Ball is available. Back. Advantage. Advantage to rugby. Advantage. Oh, three. Had straight offside. 14 red. And rugby can complete the escape here with a decent clearance. Fourteen red. You were completely legal. Turn over was legal. You were fine. You were fine. Left hand, please. With Gaffan off, it's Monroe Hogg who's going to be throwing into the line out. I've set no mark. Make sure we got a meter. His first first 15 game of the season. He completes the line out successfully. Briani, the try scorer. Stay there, thank you. Taking that one. Bird pops it in. Chechenato, who's seen an awful Release lot of now. the ball since he's come on for Jake Roberts in the back row. No, 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 no hands, no, no hands. Jack Brown takes it in. Halebury defence is up so, so fast and it forces the knock on okay, no from rugby. Got the bit between the teeth in this second half. The Hertfordshire side. Okay. Stay there, Ted. Maybe in here. Move to your left, okay? Crouch! Bind! You okay? Okay, that's fine. Same as him, just move on. Just have a quick reset on this scrum. Big scrum last time from rugby under their own posts, wasn't it? Looks at under 18 level. Drive for a metre and a half. Bind! Finn Newton at fly half is bouncing up and Set. down his toes. Oh. They really are. Hot red! Second half. Newton bounces from left to right. Now steps through, oh, ghosting onto the edge of the 22. The Halebury fly half. Owen Mills takes that in. Marquinho. No 12. Wide they go. Could there be a bit of space? No, it's dropped, and now I think it's. Harry Tannett on the far side that has it Back for rugby. Over. Bird now, intercepted. Osman, Osman surging towards the line. Osman across the line. Well, I told you, Halebury had the bit between their teeth and if one man has encapsulated that more than anyone else today for them, it's been Lucas Osman, the blindside flanker. Plucking that intercept like an outside centre. He got up so far into the line and then had the pace and indeed the power to get across the line. And a just reward for Halebury. And he just gets the ball down, despite the best efforts of the rugby school defence. 
for Newton. Standing over the conversion. Kick beautifully. Earlier in the season. That one just banging off the upright, but Lucas Osman's score has closed this gap right down to eight points. Halebury have been fantastic so far in the second half. Push right up. Lucas Osman Timing. has been fantastic all game. Just timing. Be very careful. Tackle in the air there from rugby school. Just timing, says the referee. But again, it just offers the chance to Halebury to get the ball into rugby territory. As the ball is claimed from that kick majestically on the touchline. It's as though she'd surprised herself. White. But it's just allowing Halebury to keep the momentum. These errors. Steps, please, 10. On you now. Line gets the ball in nicely, and Halebury set up the ball. And it's starting to march forward. Don't take that by 22. Forward and forward it goes. The now they break free through line, line, almost up to the 22. Step white, step white. They can drive. Now across the 22 they go. Oh, it's a good carry from Ollie Heard. That release. Bird does well to just wrap him up and buy time for the rugby school defence to get back. Oh, and another big tackle coming in. Newton, oh, goes through Newton. He's such a threat. On to Rawlins. Rawlins gets the offload away. Vantage. Playing with advantage now, rugby school. Into the corner. No advantage. 20, where are you? And it's going to be Cynical. another yellow card. Right tackle near the goal line. Off you go. Alfie Mitchell takes the yellow. Once again, it was almost a yellow Thumbs that off. rugby school were forced into knowing that the try was coming if they didn't get in the way. Halebury have Rufus? come out flying in the second half. Spoke to you. He goes. High tackle five metres out. Now take the time to speak to your team, otherwise more will follow. Oh, I've got a man now, but then when he gets back up and I'll call time on, then you can. You've also got water behind you. There's an injury Absolutely. on the field, Absolutely. so time's off just for a moment. Well, just, just to remind you of what's coming up here on Next Gen 15, Friday. It's a double header, Ipswich against Northampton School for Boys. Second 15 at 6.30, first 15 at 8 o'clock. And then on Saturday, two live streams for you. We're back here at Rugby School. Okay. They take on Bedford at 3.30 p.m. We're here for every single rugby school game this season. Rufus. As they celebrate 200 years Hello. of the game. And at the same time as that, Wellington College and Whitgift go head to head. 3.30 p.m. on Saturday. As Seb, Adena and Alule. Rufus. Memorial game. Rufus. Running repairs are done. Both sides ready to go. Halebury looking to capitalise once again on this early momentum. They try and do a cheeky move, but. Rugby wise to it. Stay there, White. Round the blind side, Halebury go. Another big tackle coming Stay in there. for rugby. Key Stay passage there, of the game, this you feel. Halebury, a man up. 16, stay and there. Already with a try in this second half to close the gap. Release, White. Very, very close now. We are inches away. Advantage. They're diving at the line. Roll. Playing with advantage now, Halebury. Close right, again, they go. Now they go wider, Halebury. Newton to Rawlins. Rawlins, can he get this one away? Not quite. Does somehow manage to find Newton. And now they attack down the right-hand side. There's a bit of space out here. Right, good. Ben Parker. 
with the score, Haleybury. Not rolling. And had 21 tackling a man on the ground. You are very lucky. To Get their second try Next of this second over. half, their third try of the game, and suddenly we are in a real contest. Yeah. It was superb from Davis. And then Ben Parker finishing brilliantly. Pierce came across with a thunderbolt of a tackle. But Ben Parker had enough in the locker to maintain his strength and get across in the corner. And we are in a three-point game conversion, a tough touchline conversion for Newton. But if he can land this, we really are. And an absolute nail-biter. And the conversion yes. is good for Newton. Narrows the game to just a single point. Rugby school leading 21-20. They were leading 21-8 at half time. But tries from Osman and from Timing. Parker have closed this one Timing right wide. down. 20 minutes to go. And we have a proper game on our hands here at the birthplace of the game. Fifteen years since Haleybury won oh, here at rugby school. I have a flag on her. Could that be about to change? No, 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 no. Got two men in here. Red, there. Not straight. Captain, option, scrum. Scrum called. Well, that line out just going awry. But what well, Paul's has done is allow rugby school to roll skipper Robert Gaffan back on. They're two Crouch. big leaders now on the field, Gaffan and Pierce. Bind! Fan at Hooker, Pierce at outside centre, how they need that leadership Stand up for me, please. in the wake of this surging Halebury comeback. You completely lost there and you're off up here. Yeah? So I can't go when your bind's like that. They've just got to remind themselves they're still leading this game. Crouch! Bind! Set! Advantage. Haleybury have advantage, so Newton can threaten the line, moves it to Davis. Davis almost up to the 22. Yes. Davis still going on, battling really hard right, through contact back. there. Osman oh, just spills that as he half Advantage. broke the line. But we're going to come back for that penalty. It's a scrum infringement, so it's different. It is. Here's a pen. Number it's a three, just explaining that the rugby school yeah. were operating under a warning. Number three, drop, lose your bind and drop to floor. Scrum infringement being a completely different sort of offence. He's not going to categorise it the same way. has put in Line an absolute peach of a kick. Right, boys, let's the right up to the Timing five metre the line. Really could not have asked more. Set those on the line. And they're outside half there. 
a huge chance to take the lead this for Halebury. Brought down safely at the line out. Counter is good from rugby school on the mall, but then breaking around the corner goes line and across the line. Careful, careful, careful. Dylan line. Breaking off the base of that mall. And Halebury have turned this around completely. Brought down by Hurd. It was a really good drive from rugby school. So Line just felt he had to break away himself. And oh boy, did he break away on himself. Huge surge early from rugby school, but it just left them a little exposed around that fringe. They couldn't quite hang on to the shirt tails of Line. Who stretched out and put Halebury into the lead. What a turnaround this is. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Came off the tee, didn't move. 20. Well, how could you not love schoolboy rugby? Yes. And Finn Newton is certainly loving it as well. Finding real form off the tee now. His conversion to Dylan Lyons try. And Halebury now lead 27-21. I'll remind you again, it was 21-8 to rugby school at half time. Well, I don't know what Michael Owen said to his charges at the halftime break, but my word, has it had an effect. Halebury have been sensational. Stay there. Take a drive. And the crowd below me Release, find their voices again as they try to drag their team back into this one. That's right, just, just have so much confidence just now, though. But that is brilliant. Rufus Pierce. No, 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 no. Oh, he's been absolutely laugh, fantastic right. since he came on, the vice captain. He's shown so much leadership. And that turnover there is going to give. Left, and Rufus. I cannot believe that I'm saying this, but this is going to give rugby school their first real attacking opportunity of the second half and we're 25 minutes into it brilliant from pierce perfect technique gets himself over tries to rip it clear makes that obvious to the referee red there earns the penalty timing on the lift of red and from this position rugby school have already scored they had a trick play in the first half what will they do in the second oh halebury get a fingertip on it on in the it's knocked on but they spoil it there'll be a scrum to rugby they were looking for Bird again. Halebury got up. Knock on the line up. And spoil. Also back on. <laughs> For rugby school is Jake Roberts. They have Crow! that spine of their pack, Gaffan, Bird, Roberts. Bind! All back in situ. Can they help inspire them? Set! It's a claw Hold back wide. against this Halebury momentum. It's a big, big scrum. Strydon feeds wide. They look through. Pierce. Payada. Out wide to Wada. Wada dives in on the corner. Rugby do have, have their try. Their first attack of the second half. And it yields a try, and they needed that try oh so much. It's been good all game. I've got a grounding, and then he's lost control after the grounding. Okay. Kayada with the pass. Dahiru Wada. Getting across. 
in that far corner. Conversion doesn't go. Swimming back on. But rugby school have closed it to a point and they've just stopped that absolutely irresistible momentum that Halebury had built. Ten left. Three tries they'd scored in this second half to claw back from 21-8 to Leeds 27-21. Rugby school scoring just when they needed it most. Just a point between them now. Backwards or backwards? But more importantly, the tide has been stemmed from a rugby school point of view and now a big tackle coming in. Gaffan no, no, no. over the ball. Told to let go by the referee. Forward. Forward pass. Rugby will have the put in. Yeah, hands went to floor, then back on. Good decision. Crouch! Bind! Set! Hot white! Finding a bit of space on the right hand side. Oh, it was a big tackle coming in from Haleybury, though. I have him out there. I've got him out here. Well, as I was saying, rugby. Schoolboy rugby. How can you not love it? This game has had absolutely everything. Almost impossible to tell which way it's going to go at any point in time. At half time, it looked like rugby school could run away with it. Through the second half, it looked as though they had no answers for some of the fresh problems that Haleybury were throwing at them. And now they've scored. And just look as though they've got their tails back up again. Bit of water on the field. Not surprising, it's a hot and sunny day here. At the birthplace of the game. Sunshine absolutely streaking across the pitch. Let me sit one more. There is your mark, okay? Cross, thank you. We're ready to start Time is again. back on. Hainabry line up. Line's yours. Yep. Dylan line to throw the ball in. <laughs> Not straight though, so rugby have the scrum. Option. Around about nine minutes left to play. This game still absolutely anybody's. Move to your left, okay? Seven left. As if to prove just what a lovely day it is, we've got cricket being played. Crow! Here on the close at the same time. Bind! A day for games of all season. Set! Referees just pointed out that it's seven minutes left Beyond to play. This clock obviously a little ahead of ours. As Pierce feeds out the back to Kayada. Kayada now out to Wada, the try scorer, but he's bundled into touch by another try scorer in Ben Parker of Halebury. Go 
Slick handling from rugby school. A good drift defence from Haleybury, and that's a really good tackle from Ben Parker. Inside nine. Underneath the ball. Drives him into touch. Stolen by rugby, but then knocked forward as they tried to gather it. That's unfortunate for the hosts. They've done the hard part, stealing the line out. Just couldn't keep a hold of it once they'd done so. Not to go on about the weather, but as I look around, the supporters around this commentary position, we've got ice creams on the go. That should tell you about the sort of day we're experiencing. In fact, I can see an ice cream van parked. Crouch! Bind! Set! Scrum down, Haleybury. Inside their own 22, oh, it's a right. big scrum from rugby school. No, it's all they collapsed. have to hold it's the drive. You okay? It's so difficult when you go surging forward to just stop driving. It goes against the very nature of everything that any front rower wants to do. But it is, of course, there for safety. Hang on, James Canvin just gets stretched out by his skipper Gaffan, just a touch of cramp yeah, following on from that drive. Same mark on the 15. Shoulder comes out, height stays up, both of you. Crouch! Bind! Set! We go again then from the scrum. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> Rugby school, what will they do? 20, collapse. Surely, surely. They take the, po the points, well, no. This is schoolboy rugby. They want more. They don't just want three. They don't just want the lead. They want the try. No, you do not have to. As long as they're below, they don't have to be above. They don't have to match. They can be below your numbers, but they can't be above. No, sorry. As long as you have to be below and match, you can't be above. A bit of confusion here about exactly how many numbers are in this line out for either side. He's nine and he's ten. Thank you. Nine. But we get going in the end. And it's brought down by Roberts. Right, right. 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 went blind. Striden goes direct. He's wrapped up really Release. well. Roberts goes again. Again, he's well met, but Please. Roberts still driving. Now eventually brought to ground. Payade cuts back against the grain, comes back in. Is there balls available? Brilliant defence this from Halebury. Bird goes now. And again, it's a huge Release. tackle coming in. Back. Gaffan now. Gaffan goes hard and makes some ground. Robinson, but it's a penalty your head into contact. as he dipped into contact. That's that new law we were talking about earlier. Dips he into contact and it's a penalty to Halebury. No, oh, will stop, rugby stop. school regret that's taking that's the that's points that's there? That's penalty here, late and low. Five As we mentioned earlier in the game, 90 seconds. it's all part of the adjustment 
for the new tackle height laws for this season. Tackles must be made seconds. below the sternum. But in order like to make sure that that can happen cleanly, the directive has come in. The players cannot dip their head below their hips when going into contact. And that's what happened there. We'll see it. Gaffan had made the big break. And Robinson just getting that head below the hips. Whoa, it was tight, wasn't it? It was very, very tight. We were just seeing that adjustment period as players get used to these new laws. Where you are. Yeah. Watch the time. Time is back on. for a second as though they were thinking about running that. In fact, they are running that. Newton. No hands, White! Well, it's brave from Halebury. That much is true. Very, very brave from Halebury, but it's working out for them. They've made 20 metres or so. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds left to play. Gaffan over the ball. Not quite. Not quite. Halebury trying to play this one out. Time is up, says the referee. They pass it back to Newton. Newton hoots it off the field, and Halebury hang on for victory. The comeback of all comebacks. Twenty-one eight they were down at the half time break. But three second half tries give them the victory. Rugby came oh so close to seizing it back. But rugby school are defeated by Halebury. Sensational comeback. Twenty twenty oh, excuse me, twenty-seven twenty-six the final score. I thought they'd gone mad trying to run it out of their own 22. But they knew what they were doing. And they counted that clock down through the phases. And when the moment came, they sent the ball back to Newton. And off the field, he sent it. Halebury get the victory. What a game. As the handshakes come in and the dust settles on what was an absolute epic, both sides will reflect on a contest that will live long in the memory. This fixture may not have been played in eight years, but you rather get the impression that after a game like that, it could become a real fixture once again, a first victory for Halebury against rugby in 15 years. This was how it all started. Fraser Rawlins going across after just three minutes to open the scoring. But then came the rugby school surge. This wonderfully worked line out move. Saw the skipper, Robert Gaffant. Level the game up and then, in fact, go in front with the Coburn conversion. And then Dahiru Wada seized upon that loose ball, passing it along to Nathaniel Kayada. And with another superb Coburn conversion, rugby were 14 5 in front. As the two sides applaud each other off the field really has been an absolutely sensational game of rugby. Bear in mind, both of these two sides, next games, will be broadcast live here on Next Gen 15. Rugby School against Bedford School this Saturday, 3.30pm. And a week today, Wednesday the 20th at Saracen Stonex Stadium, 7.15pm kickoff, Halebury host Stamford and on the evidence of today we are in for a treat with both of those games and 
And this, the third of those rugby school tries. It was Adam Varani. Uh, scorching through. Jordan Strydon got the conversion. And that put them 21-8 in front. It was a uh, Finn Newton penalty. But in the second half, Halebury just come out. They were a different side, 21-8 down at half time. But that was closed up by this Lucas Osmond try. What a fantastic game he had, by the way. And then when this second score came in, created really by Nick Davis, the fullback, just engaging two defenders and finished off by Ben Parker really nicely in the right-hand corner. Newton landed the touchline conversion and suddenly there was belief coursing through this Halebury side and Dylan Line with what proved to be the crucial try just stretching across the line. That put his side just a single point behind. In fact, no, it didn't. It put them in front. Newton converted. They were 27, 21 up. And then Dahiru Wada scored in the right-hand side, narrowed it down to just a single point. But it was a single point that Halebury held on to. And Halebury just giving the cameras a little bit of love. And why not? What a fantastic performance it was from Halebury. A second half comeback to be remembered. And it all finishes up here on Old Big Side. Rugby 26, Halebury 27. A stunning comeback.